Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We had a customer request for a dual battery discharge balance kit for this OG Rad Power Bikes, Rad Runner, and it has the 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. We're excited about this one because we think this is gonna be the easiest install yet. Of course, we have our handy dandy 48 volt, 10 amp hour waterproof bag battery with the Velcro straps that we're gonna use. Uh, we have the Rad Hemiway Magicycle electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. And we have a set of extension cables dependent on placement. I'm actually gonna provide these to the, cu the customer because I believe they're gonna run the bag here and the orientation of it will need to be strapped here because the battery on the body leaves minimal room to get a second strap on Velcro here. I also believe that I'm just gonna go ahead and do the testing and then I'm gonna wire them together so that the bike runs as normal. They're going to purchase their battery after they make the decision on what size they want. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and test it all out. We'll get it tested with dual battery and then we will actually remove the balancer, get it wired in, and then we will deliver to a customer, a happy customer. So here we go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and key off the battery. And now we are looking here and I already see the connections, they're right here. So I'm just gonna push them out of this zip tie and then there we go. So this is first battery and this is out to the controller. I'm gonna take my kit. Here's my balancer. And then here are my ends that I'm looking for to marry up to this thing. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug these in and then run the test for the battery. So what you'll notice is there are arrows on the face of both of them, just match the points of the arrow. All right, here is my Recommended battery. It is a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery. The link for this battery will be in the description below You're not isolated to this. You can use any 40 amp 48 volt battery you want Amp hours don't matter the balancer adds them together and you won't need to worry about charge rate either. So that's good, too So let me go ahead And I will install or plug in my balancer you can't really mess this up. The only way it's gonna plug in is correctly. All right, now we know that the factory battery is in line. I have one more in to plug in. There is no factory battery here, so we know that that's not going to be able to charge it. And there we go. I have the recommended battery plugged into the balancer and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this rear wheel to light up. All right, my power's on. I'm in PAS level one and I know that there's no factory battery. We have the balancer wired in and then the external battery is hooked up to it as well. Let's try it out. And there we go, we have success. That is with the recommended external battery, 48 volt, 10 amp hour. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my factory battery. Get that set in there. And then I'm going to simply disconnect the external battery and then leave the factory battery plugged in. So here's the external, not connected.
make sure and turn your key on. And there we go. Now we know that that's plugged in and that is routed through our dual battery discharge balancer and it does work. So now I'm gonna be on to cable routing. But first, let me show you my recommended placement.
All right, there we have it. This is a dual battery, 48 volt, 24 amp hour, Rad Power Bikes, Rad Runner with the electric all wheel, dual battery discharge balance kit, Hemingway Magic Cycle fit with Rad Power Bikes included in that as well. Uh, we're really thankful to this customer for allowing us to do this to their bike. We hope that they get all of the extended range enjoyment out of it for its purpose. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the description below for links to the recommended battery and the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. Uh, email us if you have any issues, if you have any questions and you're wondering what's going on, we will do our best to help. We're always here. Give us a like and subscribe and we'll talk to you next time.